okay, <coughs> who are we as Ghanaians? Who are we as Africans? Thank you for the question. Now, uh, before I answer your question, uh, let me use the opportunity to uh, greet your viewers uh, and also members of Hamu Development Foundation. Now, before we were known as Ghanaians, we came from somewhere. In the ancient past, people or nations were known by their what? Their language, tradition, and spirituality. These are the sum of the things that identify a nation or a group of people in the ancient past. And this includes how they understand who the creator is, the universe, and our, or let me say the cosmology. But as people, we begin to develop or have certain ideas we start to fight each other for power and resources. And if you are not fortunate and you are defeated, then you become colonized or you, be, you will be colonized by the one who defeated you. And in so doing, they impose their systems on the people who are defeated. That is why today, you see people who are given different name from the name of their origin. Okay? Now, <clears throat> to identify who we are or where we came from, we need, or when we want to talk about African spirituality, we need to first redefine the Eurocentric concept of God. Because the Eurocentric concept of God that has been packaged to us has rather moved us from how we as a people identify God or we see the Creator. First of all, we need to understand that Africans or black people came from a certain part of the world to this place. Our ancestors migrated from the lost continent of Mu, that is M-U. And history shows that they were led by a high priest with the name Nuo. Nuo had three sons. Seme, which was corrupted. Now, Nuo is what has been corrupted in the Bible as what? Noah. His first son, Seme, is what has been corrupted to what? Shem. Hey. The second son, Hamu corrupted to what? Ham. Then the third son, Janu, corrupted to what? Jephat. No, I need a bush before you know where I before. Before we we'll come to that. Mm, okay. We will come to that. Okay. We all came from different places. And our family tree are interconnected. Yes. So somebody may be an Akan. Somebody may be from Gadangbe. But we will, at the end of the day, we're going to establish what makes us one when it comes to our spirituality and our tradition. Okay. So the story of Noah was taken from when our ancestors left the lost continent of Mu because of what? Flooding. 
So I will ask our cherished viewers to search for the lost continent of Mu. The moon is spelled M-U. Now, from there, we move to Babylon. So, in the Babylonian language, Nuwa was spelled Nuhu. Our ancestors moved and built kingdoms and built empires along the way. But, so when they got to what, what is called what? The Mesopotamia. From there, they moved to build the Kemet, what they call as Kemet or Egypt. But the actual name is what? Kem. Hey! Yes. Yes. Because, yes. because, yes, it's ever, means sandy place or in the sun. That is why you see the land of Egypt or the Seda Valley, they call it desert. It's yes. full of sun. Mm -hmm. So that explains why our ancestors call it what? Kema, which means in the sun. Kema. Kema. Uh -huh. So when this mm. European Egyptologist came to the Seda Valley, or what is now known as uh, Kemet or Egypt, they corrupted the name to what? Kemet or to Egypt. Egypt is the Greek name that was given to that, er that area. It wasn't given to by our ancestors. Now, from there, we were told, now, let me go to the scriptures. We were told that uh, our ancestors or a group of people were enslaved in the ancient Egypt. Let me use the word Egypt so that it will be easy for oh, everyone. No, mention the Ewen name. It's fine. Yes, mm -hmm. for everybody to understand. You mention Egypt, then you add the Ewen name. Yes. Uh, come, so, come. Come. Our ancestors were in Kemet. In fact, they built Kemet. When you go to the scriptures, they said God has his chosen people. What we call the New or Old Testament was from the beginning of time were known as what? The Afa scriptures and as I explained earlier on, civilization upon civilization came and those right writings were translated into various languages from the to Assyrian language, the Babylonian language, to the Persian language, to the Greek language, then the Latin language. Before now, today, we have the what? The English language dominating the world. 